What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Hope everyone is doing well. Still working on my August readings. I'm on the sign of Aries. So we'll see what messages are for the sign of Aries. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of my channel for more information or the description box below. Um, right now, it's probably about 24 hour wait time. Um, something to do with being completely and bluntly honest about something. Um, whether it's about t starting something new, some of you guys, you could be going back to school. Um, I think you're working on like a talent of yours, or maybe that's your advice. Um, there's a need for you to have patience when it comes to certain things in your life, because there's a divine plan for your life. But sometimes when we get too far in the magician energy, um, it becomes manipulative, and it's not really going to help the progress. So it's like, you can't really control this, Aries, so... It's not like things aren't going to be coming in. It's just more like there's a need for you to take care of yourself. Maybe some people around you at this time. Shh. And, um, you know, maybe let people know that they're maybe confused when it comes to your energy. Maybe you're not being manipulative or this person that you're dealing with needs to clarify that. Um, because you're coming up or someone's coming up. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords in reverse. This is some pretty um, harsh communication, and I feel like you're genuine. Some of you guys are genuinely wanting to work on this, but it's pretty deep healing that needs to be done here. But you're the, you know, your guides are encouraging you to start learning to trust your intuition and um, overcome whatever it is that. You know, sometimes you think about yourself or what you're going through at times. Um, it could be affecting your physical health at times, you know. Some of you guys need to protect your energy. Um, there's just a lot going on outside, as everyone knows. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, or there's something to do with um, a Pisces that you could be seeing, or something to do with a first impression. Maybe someone got the wrong first impression about you. Um... Six of Swords in reverse, Two of Swords, definitely air sign, but I feel like it's a lot of mental mental thoughts here. Um, something you can't move on from, however, but you haven't exactly made a decision about this. Maybe because some of you guys know that maybe some of the things that you said, you know, were pretty harsh. Um, maybe... You have this certain goal in mind, maybe it's getting a house or getting married or someone you're dealing with does, and it's a lot of pressure on you, so sometimes you lash out because you feel like you're being rushed to make decisions that maybe you're not ready to make, you know? Some of you guys are just burnt out, whether it's not it's a job. Um, it's like you'd be willing to get a, a job or get a house for this person um, and take care of them, you know? Um, for some of you guys, um, you want to do the right thing when it comes to the situation, but at the same time, you really don't know when it comes to marriage. Like, you know, is that might not solve all the problems, or maybe you have differences in opinions when it comes to marriage. I definitely feel like there's something with taking your personal power back. Um, some of you guys are going to be gaining some followers, um... Definitely working out whatever this is. There's just a need to have patience. Some of you guys um, unexpectedly had a child with someone when you were in energy where you kind of wanted to be single. So now maybe that the child is here, you're kind of like, you never really left that energy, but now there's a whole, you know, situation or entanglement. Um, you know, there's a lot of challenges right now. Some of you guys need to discern someone's true intentions that you're dealing with. Because if you really can't make a decision about this and you genuinely don't want to, you know, the universe could be protecting you from something that could get you in over your head. Um, there's a reason maybe why you can't balance this out. Maybe this person's too aggressive. Maybe this person's too childish. Why don't you pick a, pick a game? 
maybe it's time to tell yourself that you are safe and guided and protected from any kind of harm and everything that you need will be provided to you. Um, heal some energy. Understand that there's, you know, blessings wanting to come in, but... Um, some of you guys could be getting like a, a military job or you're thinking about military or some kind of government job. Um, some of you guys, um, you're really highly respected or you will be or maybe this is something, someone in your family. Um, I really feel like for some of you guys, maybe you grew up in a family where marriage wasn't this... You know, you didn't have the whole picket fence and nice house and the perfect marriage. Maybe you grew up in a house where there, if there was a marriage, it was fucked up or there wasn't. It's like maybe some of you guys didn't have a dad around. You know, you don't really know what it's like to have a sense of authority around you. So maybe it's hard for you to, t to be optimistic for one or, or make decisions because you're not really sure how to feel about it. It's not something that you know very well. You know, we learn everything from our parents growing up or who we're around and that's not something you've experienced and there's nothing you could do about it. You have feelings for this person and you feel like it could work out, but you know, I feel like the pregnancy threw it off and this person was just your friend and now you're like, oh, I don't really know what to do, you know? Um, you wanna help this person, you want to, um, you know, protect them of whatever the case may be, but you also want this person to, to look in the mirror and, you know, take some time out to heal and, um, get off social media, um, have their own sense of independence. You have the lovers and occupation. I feel like some of you guys, this person is very clingy. Like you could even be trying to work and this person is like, doesn't want to leave you alone and it's kind of frustrating to you because you know like you're used to doing things independently um you are the type of person when you start something you finish it and you know you share similar goals but there's some really big ones here that you're just not agreeing on so why would you buy a house you know um if you don't really want to marry this person turn it down mama please um no, because I'm doing videos and it's too loud. You guys feel like you're locked up like Akon. You know, um, because this situation happened where now there's a child for 18 years um, on deck or <clears throat> maybe you don't have children so you didn't really understand or maybe you're with someone who has children. Like maybe you don't understand like what it's like to really to be, um, you know, a full-time parent for 24-7, 365, but you're willing to, like, provide financially, there's just some other things that you don't really want to do because you're focused on your goals right now. And for some of you guys, the, a wedding or a marriage is just a piece of paper, and you honestly feel like this person um, is just trying to trap you in a way. You're not happy with this person. You haven't exactly told them, you know, I feel like some of you guys could be buying a car for this person or something like that, but you, you have respect for this person. Maybe you're going to buy a car for your mom, um, something, I don't know, something like that or a house, but when it comes to this full blown commitment, I don't know, maybe you're just overall like unsure what you want, what this person wants, if you're not speaking with them or you just can't really f come to some type of happy medium because someone's fixed, it could be on with a fixed sign, but maybe you have some fixed energy in your chart. Some of you guys just want to move around, like you want to go do something, like you're used to being out and like, you know, doing whatever it is that you want um, with your friends and not being so serious, like you just want to be like lighthearted. You have a past life relationship here um, that you've called in, that you've manifested in. It's saying it's safe for you to love. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring the, you two together. But then we have playfulness, flirts, and release your ex. So hmm, I honestly feel like there's some energy here that needs to be cleared. And some of you guys maybe just need to be honest that you haven't really released this person you don't want to be serious like that right now you know um but you're having a hard time maybe expressing this to this person because um 
you think that they should know or it should be obvious or something like that, but it's not always obvious. It's just watching your tone and how you speak with people. Um, because people, we don't ever know the, the true story of what people go through. And some of us come from really fucked up backgrounds and childhoods. And that really does play a huge role in who we are as adults. So it's important to understand that everyone has to walk in their shoes. And if we've never walked in them, to maybe be more mindful and compassionate to the people around us because we never really truly know what people are going through. And I don't think you want to be held accountable for, you know, someone doing something to themselves or harming themselves. If you were to say something really rude at this certain point in time, maybe someone threatens suicide or maybe someone just needs to um, be committed for like a 72 hour hold. Um, I'm not really sure, but there's definitely a lot of childhood things here. And this person could be, you know, using or just in a, a weird psychosis state. And um, this person could be a cutter, so I'd be mindful of that. But it's also, um, this person seems really confused or, um, you know, not their usual self. It might be time to, to move on a plan for this situation. Um, this person's going to come out of it, but they do need to... Um, do some really deep healing like hypnotherapy, um, chakra healing, um, essential oils, the whole shebang, you know, and possibly even writing some things down. Anyways, I hope this helps you out. I hope you have a good day. Bye.